Hello, Nomad Sculpt video manual. This video is also about reprojecting. In this case, to reproject a 2D mesh on a other object's surface. I record this video with version 177 and yeah, I don't know if it's possible with 176 at the moment. But you can test it in the web demo if you like. So here you can create such stuff. It's only an example. Here I show you the wireframe of the objects. The, the objects are very low poly. And yeah, only the text is at the moment high poly. Okay, <clears throat> so how to do this? I keep uh, the cylinder and delete the other objects and this object I separate and I delete this one and this one. So the other objects I simple merge or I join together and now you need a flat 2D mesh. And for this, we add a plane. Bring it in the front view. And you can validate this object now. Topology, we need more topology. Here use subdivision up to 1 million, I think is okay. And place the plane in front and now I use a stamp tool I created here this is a normal stamp tool um, or a mask tool sorry it's a mask tool but it's a normal mask and here you can upload your alpha image and the settings are here lock radius and the fall off is a flat fall off. And filter, there's, um, yeah, for the plane we don't need a filter at the moment. So, symmetry off. And we can show our symmetry, but we don't use the symmetry. And here we place the mask of the alpha like this and here in the settings of the mask we use a shell thickness of zero and a border smoothness this is important max um, to get clean lines i turn now the outline on and now let's extract the shell so we get a nice uh, clean cut out of the mask and now use the front view and place this object where you want it to project something like this here <clears throat> okay so the next step is to use a few like this and here in the topology as a submenu misc and here it's possible to use the reproject feature here reproject and at the moment, you can see um, something because it's grayed out. And now when you move your object with the with arrow here in, in position, you see there appears a red text from high-res cylinder. And when you move it nearer to the other object, the color changes. 
and now it's white or yellow but red is red is okay because we stay in front of the other object and then use the settings here. Um, I show you the ray bias here when the setting is zero and we start reprojecting, press here, you see this happens here. It's not okay. And when you use the ray bias three and reproject it, then you get a nice clean result. And for the other um, sliders here, iterations, and you can test it. Um, and also at the moment we only need vertices, not the color and layers, only vertices. And let's check this setting and look at the solo view. You see here the borders. Let's At the moment we don't have nice borders. I go back a few steps to see where the problem is. Ah yes, um, we have to sharpen the mask and uh, for, for example you can blur it one time and try to extract it now. And now the borders are much clearer. There are only a, a few such uh, small artifacts, uh, I think, but it's okay. You have to play around with the settings of mask extraction. So now we got our extracted mask and Here we place our object now and reproject it. And you see here it's not correct at the moment. We use the front view and because it's the object is bigger than the other object then bring it here in position and, and something like this. And now when you use the reproject it should work fine. Let's see the solo view. You got a nice result. So the next thing is you can uh, use a mask, mask your object and give it a shell thickness of, for example, 0.5 without border smoothness and extract the whole thing. And yeah. So you got something like this. And now it's possible to voxel remesh the whole part and use a, a round all brush to smooth it a little bit and use decimation. Preserve painting is off, it's, it's okay. Preserve borders, we can switch off and decimate it down. Something like this. We got a, a nice projected 2D mesh on the other mesh. Yeah, there's a lot to play with. Okay, but I think um, you can work with it with this information and have fun with sculpting. Ciao.